Hi, yogins. Welcome back to Play Along Practice with Amanda Shepherd Yoga. It's nice to see you this morning um, or today. And uh, I haven't had my coffee yet, so we're gonna see how this goes. Practices tend to be about a level two, three, so fairly strong. Um, you wanna make sure that you are physically able to do a strong practice this morning. And um, let's get started. Might be some inversions, might be some twists today. Let's see where we go. I'm gonna start in um, Sutta Baddha Konasana. Uh, recline bound angle, bound angle pose and I will be using a blanket. You might like a blanket, a strap, and a couple blocks nearby. And I'm going to take my blanket, open it up. It's pretty familiar if you do these practices with me. I'm going to take this, roll it up so it's like a nice long kind of roll. It might look like a, like a Swedish roll or a taco or a cannoli. And I'm going to place that on the top of my ankles, on the top of the foot. Turn the knees out, bring the soles of the feet together, and bring the two ends in towards the torso. Right? And then I'm going to lay down. Anything here? It's a warm day, so I have my extra um, kind of towel on my mat. Nice deep inhale, exhale through the mouth. One more time. And let yourself drop in and really start to feel the breath moving through the body. Start to notice those sensations that might be pulling you away from the breath and let yourself engage them. Really start to get kind of intimate with what might be taking you out of that deep center. And let yourself um, send some nurturing care. Try to figure out what it is. Always with a gentility. Allowing the belly to evolve from belly, our uh, breath to evolve from belly to chest, exhaling chest to belly. the arms to reach overhead and really let the spine decompress here as you do that shoulder blades will lift of course because the arms are overhead but let the collarbone get wide maybe interlace your thumbs really reaching switch the thumbs Try to let all four sides of the waist get long. So your ribs might want to jut up. It might want to turn into a back bend. Take that out. Engage the core. And exhale. Just going to gently remove this blanket. Oops. And place it over to the side. Just knock my coffee over. I want that to happen. I'm going to find Ananda Balasana Happy Baby Pose. Bring one heel in, reach the opposite away. So 
Keeping that right leg in, reaching the left leg long on the mat. Just gently opening the hips, right? Collarbones nice and wide. The shoulders might want to jut up, draw them down. Nice, let your right side waist be as long as the left. And then from here, I'm gonna reach that right foot over the left ankle and start to find that kind of banana stretch. Popular in yin, we're gonna make it a little more active. Hugging the ankles together, reaching those arms overhead, grab the right wrist with your left hand and really secure those ankles together. So you're gonna feel this on the right side body. Breathing here. Good. Come on out of that. I'm going to take that um, right knee into the chest and then I'm just going to turn the knee out. I want to keep the heel pretty close to the sits bones and just see if I can come across kind of like a saw and bring that heel right next to the belly button inside the aces and reach that knee away. I'm holding it with the left hand and I'm going to take that back bend out of my low back, right? It wants to lift up. I'm going to keep it down. Left toes are turned out and I'm not really concerned how close to the floor it gets. I'm not going to force that. So you're in Ardha, Supta Ardha Padmasana. Good, nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Let's take a number four. Reaching that right knee away. And some ankle circles with that left ankle. Maybe even bringing that left foot down. Let's take a bridge variation, reaching the tailbone nice and long. Good, exhale, roll it out. I'm gonna reach that left leg to sky. Hands come forward. Coming up to my Navasana variation. And then as I exhale, left foot comes down and I'm gonna take a twist. Left arm behind me, right arm to sky. As I exhale, I'm just gonna twist and come across and just see beginning class so don't worry just see how far that arm goes across breathing here good exhale back through center let's give that leg a hug push that foot into your left um, lower bicep and as you exhale try to keep that left heel on the floor roll it up Let's just straighten that leg nice and gentle. I'm gonna allow myself to hang off the ankle wherever you can reach. Collarbones nice and wide. Still hiking that right hip. Keep it, uh, keep the low back even on the earth. Exhale, one uh, vertebra at a time. Shoulder blades back of the head on the earth. Supta Hanumanasana. Balasana, happy baby pose. Bringing the other heel in first, I think. Just rocking side to side. I'm going to keep the left leg where it is, reaching that right leg long on the mat. Notice the hips, scooch it under the body. Keep the shoulders soft. They don't really need to do much work here. Just keep nice and like your body shimmer. It's really shiny. As I exhale, I'm going to let that ankle cross. Bring the feet to the right. Lift the chest. Bring the chest to the right and reach that left arm overhead. Really hug.
body, the ankles. Bring the side body, middle finger all the way down through the outside edge of that left foot. Exhale to center, I'm going to draw that left knee in to my chest, let the right toes flop, and then keep that heel and sit bones towards each other, turn the leg out, and like a saw, bring it across the body, grab the left foot with my right hand, and just reach the knee away, I'm not really too concerned how low it gets. Take the back bend out. Right, it tends to want to go like this. Take that out. Supta Ardha Hanumanasana. Uh, no, sorry, Supta Ardha Padmasana. Bound half lotus. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. I'll reach that right leg to sky, maybe find that number four, bend the right knee. Keep the left knee reaching away from the body, ankle circles with that right ankle. We get some pops in there. Leg to sky, right leg to sky, hands forward, lifting up Navasana variation. Oh, actually, before I do that, right foot comes down. I'm gonna find that bridge variation. Exhale, roll it out, and reach the leg to sky. Navasana variation, lift the chest, because we round the back, it's hard. So lift up, bring the right foot to the floor. Right hand behind me, left arm to sky. And just see how far you twist at the beginning, so don't worry. Looking over the right shoulder, looking over that left shoulder. And hug the leg, reach the right heel long, and roll it out. One vertebra at a time. Sits bones towards the top of the mat. Bringing here left leg to sky, hang off that leg. And I just want to keep that sits bone this sideways long, right? Really hug the muscles, exhale, roll it out. Toes come down to meet the right. We'll reach those arms overhead, get nice and long, all four sides of the waist. And I'm just going to um, draw that right leg bone into the socket and lift the leg. Reach a little higher. Bring it down. Left leg draws in, lift it up nice and high. Draw it in again, lift it up. And then bring it down. Now I'm going to do the same with the arms. Lift it. Right leg draws in, lift up, lift up, lift up, bring it down, and left side. All right. Cross any ankle over. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and just start to warm up the spine a little bit.
six months to write your deal. Put your hand one hand length forward in front of you, tap the toes, lift the hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Heading out the feet. Or any other move that you like. Reset right leg back, open the hip, couple hip circles, one or two each direction. Look over under your left arm, see if you can see those toes. And as I exhale, you bring that leg down and we're just going to hover the shoulder. Three legged dog, Ahika Pada Adha Mukha Svanasana, um, with kind of a half dolphin going on. And then let the forearms come down. I'm going to interlace my fingers. Draw the shoulder blades away from the ear, so the opposite, and let the top of the head come to the floor. And just lift up with that right leg. Finding a uh, Shirsha Hanumanasana. Breathing here. As I exhale, you bring the legs to sky, draw that right knee into the chest and open that knee out to the side. And start to find that Ardha Padma. Turn the left toes out. I'm gonna bend the left knee, do some ankle circles. This used to be so easy for me. Padma Shirshasana. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. Mm. I'll take it to a tripod. Scooch it in and see if I can just come up on up to Kukutasana. Good. Exhale. Unwind through Malasana only because I'm already sweating. Not quite Malasana, just come to see it. <laughs> Breathe here. Cross an ankle over. And come on out. Allow yourself to find some cat cows. Warming up the spine. Maybe um, Isolating the ribs, both directions, and isolating the shoulders, both directions. Let's take a puppy pose, reaching our hand forward. And out to your Sphinx pose, bring your pubic bone down. I'm going to come through a um, forearm thing. Rolling inner thighs to sky, keep the tailbone long, pubic bones on the earth. If you need more opening, straighten your arms and pull them towards you as you relax the glutes. Maybe walk your hands in a bit. And then you're gonna come on down, bring the left forearm to the floor, right hand next to your hip. I'm gonna bend that right knee. Bring the heel towards the outer hip, opening the quads. Good. Gently come on out. And I'm gonna reach that right arm out to the right. Rolling onto the right side body, bringing the feet behind knee, left foot and then the right 
or just one. Back to center. Find your space pose. Maybe coming up higher if you need to. Coming on down, left arm, uh, come on to that right forearm. Bend your left knee. towards the outer hip. And coming on out, reaching that left arm out to the side. Right foot behind you and then lower. Undulating the spine a little bit. Forward Vimrukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. over under your right arm so you can see your toe. Straighten out, Ekapada Adho Mukha Svanasana, and then hover those elbows, chest towards the thigh. Then allow the elbows to come down as you interlace the fingers. Make sure you don't interlace your hair. Top of the head to the floor. I'm gonna reach up with that left leg. Take a Shirsha Hanumanasana. We hug the leg muscles to the bone, keep reaching with the toes. And then up through center, draw that left knee into the chest. Open that knee out to the side and just see if you can get that heel as high as you can into the hip flexor maybe even next to the belly button. Turn the right toes out. You're gonna bend that knee, ankle circles. And snuggle it in there. Shirsha Padmasana. Shoulder blades to sky as you exhale. Relax the fingers and transition the arms to Mukta Asta Shirshasana. Hinge at the hips. You're going to get nice and close into the chest. Snuggle those shins on top of the arms on the triceps and push straight down with your hands. Breathing here, and then I'm just gonna unwind into Malasana. Right. Maybe a little bit here, nice deep inhale and exhale here. And then I'm just gonna straighten the legs, Uttanasana. Artha Uttanasana. Again, reach those arms out to the side. Root to rise, doing some wrist circles, coming all the way up 
Word of Sasan, exhale, Samastiki. Shake the wrists up and come to the top of the mat. As I grab a little coffee. Don't recommend drinking coffee while you practice. We see it over there, so I won't spill it. So tragic. All right, shake your wrists out, reach those arms to sky, or with stops in. Open those arms like a cactus. Right palm's gonna reach behind you, palm faces up. Pat yourself on the back with that left hand. Go Mukhasana arms, lifting out of all four sides of the waist. Honor the Tassana, go Mukhasana arms. Exhale, folding in. Inhale out, Ardha Uttanasana, plant those palms through your vinyasa. All right, legs gonna reach. I'm gonna open the hip. Square it up. I'm gonna find that uh, shoulder cover, bringing the forearms down, and this time pushing the floor away. I'm trying to find a pinch up on a asana. Reach that leg up. Lord of Padma. Padma. Come on down. Into a puppy pose. to a forearm plank and then find my sphinx pose. Now imagine somebody had a strap behind your shoulder blades, the lower shoulder blades, and they had their heels right underneath the um, shoulder head. Keep the belly in and relax your glutes. And walk in. So come on down. Word of Exhale, Adra Mukhasvanasana. Push that left leg behind you, open the hip. Couple hip circles. Check out your toes. Exhale, I'm going to square it up. I'm going to let the forearms come down. Really push into those forearms and inner wrists. Find that split as best as you can, way harder. When legs to touch, I'm gonna to bring that, bend the left knee up. Open it up. Don't think that's gonna work on that side. And then come on down. Mm. Find my puppy pose. Exhale, come on out. Forearm plank. Mm. Or 
Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And just a nice and gentle walk myself to the top of the mat. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Arms out to the side. Your circle is going all the way up. Forward left sasana. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale. Reach that left arm behind you. Turn the palm out. Right arm up and over. Gomukhasana arms. Lift the arm up. The waist, especially the back waist, shoulder blades lifting up. Breathing here. Exhale. Fold it in. Arhanamanasana through your vinyasa. I'm starting with the left leg, opening the hip, setting up for Panchamayarasana. Maybe finding a Hanuman variation. Bringing that left knee in. I'm going to try it again on the side. I don't think so. Mm. Exhale, coming on out. So why is that? One reason is that this shoulder is feeling a little tighter today. And the other reason is that my heel doesn't go in very high when I bend it. So it's only going into the hip flexor and not all the way up towards the belly button. It's more on the thigh, really. So that's why I'm not finding it upside down on that side. Alright, back to practice. Um, let's reach that left arm out to the left. Exhale, thread the needle, finding a nice twist to neutralize the spine a little bit. Any variations you like? Puppy pose in between. Right arm reaches out to the right. Exhale, bring that through. Walk the left hand forward. Breathing here. Draw back to a child's pose, only to open the shoulder. So find, um, walk your hands over to the right and pull with that left arm and lean into it. Left hand, kitty corner, right corner of the mat, turn your ear. You want to feel here, straight to center. Left hand to the top of the mat, right hand stacks on top, push down, pull back. Same thing, side two. Right 
hands reaching, you're gonna lean in, leaning the ribs, sits bones to the right. Right hand kitty cord of the mat, rest your ear on it. Right arm to the top of the mat, left hand on top, wrap the triceps down. Feeling the um, all around the shoulder blade. You're like, coming out forward, I'm gonna take my left elbow and bring it to the floor, pat myself on the back. And as I drag the elbow back, I'm gonna drop the chest. Let the armpit drop, trying to pull back with the elbow, letting the armpit drop towards the floor, feeling your tricep. And then take that to side two. right leg in the air. Kinchamayarasana. Reach that right leg to sky. Legs up, keep pushing the floor away. I'm gonna bend that right knee. Oh, not plenty of touch that either. That's okay. We're coming on down. Sitting here, I'm just gonna take a moment. It's hot and I'm tired. A little shavasana break. All right. Draw the right leg in. I'm going to find my toe lock and open that leg out to the side. Supta Uttita Asta Pranagastasana B. And then from here, I'm going to close the knee. Bring the knee in towards my belly button and reach that inner knee away. Notice the right toes turn out. I'm gonna bring that left knee in. Into Padmasana, crossing those legs. the hands along gently supporting the glutes keeping them nice and soft and just letting the legs come down supta padmasana if you're comfortable here you come onto your elbows find a back bend maybe grabbing the toes matsyasana Gently come out. Not as easy for me as it used to be, if I'm honest. Um, straddle. the toes overhead. I'm going to take an avasana variation. Oh, inhaling, lifting the chest. Good, breathing here. Exhaling, rolling down one vertebra at a time. And we keep the left foot where it is. Exhale, bringing that 
left heel in. I'm gonna snuggle it right next to the belly button. Or as close as I can get. Right toes are gonna turn out. And then I'm gonna bring that foot into Padmasana. I need to be pretty gentle with this side. Nice and easy. I'm just going to use my hands very gently. There's no squeezing or anything. It's just for support. Supta Padmasana. Maybe Matsyasana. Gently coming that out. And I'm going to take a twist. Supta Ardha Matya uh, Dasana. Grounding it up by grabbing the feet and reaching that top leg away. We take that to the other side. that right side waist stay long. Coming back through center and I'm just going to see if I can do this. I'm going to try and keep that right knee in and bring that heel up as high as I can. Crossing it over. I might even bring that left leg to the sky. Turn that toe out. A couple ankle circles here. Start my twist, um, bringing the right knee over the left first this time, keeping your shoulder blades on the earth. Taking it to the other side. Coming back through center, I'm going to try and keep that left heel in as high as I can. Oh, I want to use my hand so badly. Turning that right knee out to see if I can do some ankle circles. Snuggle it in. Finding my lotus, Padmasana legs. Supta Padmasana. Gently letting Knees come down. Matsyasana. Exhale, chin to chest to release. Mm, take my time. I'm going to take one more twist here. Bring left knee over right. Finding my bind. Right knee over left, hips moving right, knees to the left, maybe finding a bind. Back through center. Check out your toes. You're going to reach the hands forward. 
Navasana boat pose. Crossing whatever ankle you want over. I need to be other one than you did earlier. And coming back. Radha Nupishvanasana, downward facing dog. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm just going to walk my feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Arms out to the side for circle. Or Vatsasana. Exhale, Samastihi. Just take a moment in your Tadasana. Gomukhasana arms, right palm reaching back, left hand up and over. Anubhutasana, Gomukhasana arms, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Rear Vinyasa. Step that left foot in, reach that right leg to sky, and just see if I can find a little pickup. Trying to keep the arms nice and straight. Okay. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Wrist circles the odd way, coming up. Left palm reaching behind me, palm out. Right arm pats myself on the back. Anubhutasana, go across the arms, exhale. Fold it in, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the palm. Float it back. Shoulders over the wrists, nice and light. Mm. Arha Uttanasana, exhale Uttanasana, forward fold. Our circle is coming up. Exhale, 